Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have the wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. This is the art of marriage. Well, I'll tell y'all, when Haley called and asked if I'd perform this ceremony, I was honored and flattered. And if y'all don't know, this is the first wedding ceremony for all three of us right here. <laughs> but over the past month, it's given me an opportunity to re-engage with Haley. You know, I remember her as a young, headstrong, energetic, argumentative little girl, always perfectly dressed. <laughs> but over the last six weeks while we visited, I realized she's grown into a headstrong, argumentative, energetic <laughs> young lady, always perfectly dressed. And it's been a real pleasure. And I'd met Tyler before, but never spent a lot of time with you. And I've come to know him a little bit in our meetings. I re revealed a stable, intelligent, respectful, employed, <laughs> and, and really a kind young man. I've been told that happiness in life is comprised of three things. Someone to love, something to do, and something to hope for. Tonight, Haley and Tyler kick off and publicly announce someone they love and have declared for the rest of their lives. And marriage gives an opportunity, something to do. You will not be bored. Something to do is not work or anything. It's about building a marriage and something to hope for. There is a lot of things to hope for in your future. Haley, I love you. You're an amazing person, an excellent dog mom, my best friend. I know Manga Teacher is a wild rat, but your passion for teaching is incredible. I know, I know you make my mother proud. So as you know, I have this weird thing for coffee bottles. Some are good and others are bad. Well, a good mug has a handle that you can fit your fingers in and securely hold them up. Like a good mug, I promise to hold you, to hold you close, to listen, and to smile, and to never let you go. To keep you warm when times are dark and cold, to bring you a smile to your face every morning. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when love is simple and when it is an effort, together and with the help of our family and friends, we can accomplish anything. Tyler, I always thought it'd be difficult to find someone who would love me, but you walked into my life and my world has changed. It has changed oh, for the better. Oh, you have no idea. When I first met you, I had no idea that you would change, you would change my entire life. How was I supposed to know? How was I to know? How was I supposed to know that you would complete me, that you would make me a better person, a kinder person? I can be mean. <laughs> 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 that I would smile so hard 
every day that you would make me feel so special. Because baby, I love you. I love you because of you I laugh, I smile, and I dare to dream more than I ever thought imaginable. Thank you for the miracle of you, because you truly are. You are always and will be the love of my... <laughs> I'm trying, y'all. The love of my life, my soul, my and my person. I cannot wait for our journey as husband and wife to begin. I cannot wait to see you as a father, because I bet they'll have an Instagram. <laughs> if, if it is anything like how you treat debit, credit, and cash, our children will be treated like royalty. I vow to always be your, your best friend. I vow to always allow you to have to put cheese on everything, even though it upsets my stomach. I vow, I vow, honey, to start cooking more in the kitchen, even though you're the better cook. <laughs> I vow to understand that the pups are more important than me. <laughs> I vow to honor, inspire, and respect you for the rest of our lives. so much for coming out here I know that it's time of COVID and things are a little bit crazy but you know we feel the love in this room tonight it's really wonderful to see everybody here celebrating Haley and Tyler 